Hello guys, Dio Merkava here. This is the Oni. It is the tallest vehicle in the game at the current moment. It boasts a Type 96 15 centimeter howitzer with enough kick to punt a football across the entire country of Thailand. With 175 millimeters of frontal hull armor, this thing is a beast out of, on the battlefield. Perhaps the Japanese were compensating for something. I'm not really sure, but all we know is that their historical tanks This is the Object 705A. 100 tons of pure Russian bias designed to kick the ass of anything that happens to be in its way. With 1500 engine power, this air polluting war machine is prepared to fight to the death with any vehicle it comes across. This is one of the most powerful vehicles in the current game at the moment. It strikes fear into all foes. Sure, this vehicle is a tier 10. The Oni is a tier 7, but this is just a demonstration. Alright, so, we're in the city of Fisherman's Bay. They're at opposite ends. Their teams need them to win. Both of them are side scraping. But what makes the difference? How can you get past this? And why is the Object 705A so overpowered when it side scrapes? I don't know. But what we will do is we will walk you through this and show you how to beat a 705. Anyways, this vehicle is practically invincible in this position. How could we possibly destroy an invincible tank? Well, it's pretty simple. You just get a tank like the Oni, which has a howitzer firing large HE shells, high explosive, and you just launch it at the weak points. Simple. Because you won't be able to penetrate its armor with regular ammo anyway. The best way to do the most damage to a vehicle with a crap ton of armor like the 705A is to shoot the thin parts of the armor with the high explosive. It will never penetrate the enemy armor, but at least it can do a decent amount of damage anyway because of splash and shrapnel and all sorts of garbage that comes out of the shell. So basically, all you have to do is shoot the front of the turret on the 705A because it's right in front of the engine deck. The engine deck on a vehicle and the bottom of the vehicle are not places you typically armor a heavy tank. You put the, all the armor on the front and you leave the armor out on a place right behind the front. Uh huh. And so what you do is you just shoot the front of the turret on the 705A. It sounds crazy, like that's the heaviest part of armor on the vehicle. But that's all you gotta shoot. Because shooting the front of the hull will do very minimal damage. You must either shoot under the tank, where the armor is thin, or right above the engine deck, where the armor is thin. Aim for thin armor. Know the stats, and you will succeed, even if you're in a tier 7 against a tier 10. World of Tanks matchmaking, am I right? So, normally, uh, when you're in a tier 7, the tier 10 is going to come around and rush you, and it'll win every single time. But we're going to have it switched this time, and the Oni is going to rush the 705A, because I don't have anyone else to do this with, so I'm actually operating on two accounts. So, say you get around behind it, you can just shoot below the tank and do the most damage. It's very simple. Perhaps you could shoot that little part underneath the turret but above the hull. Maybe that'll work. But the best thing to do if they start flanking you, because they're obviously going to react, is pull your ass against a wall. It sounds stupid, but it works. You just gotta pull the back of your tank against a wall, and that will prevent them from ever getting behind you. And perhaps you can push them against the wall and flip them. I know a tank, the tier 10 German tank destroyer, the Jaeger. That thing doesn't take kindly to being flanked, so I wouldn't recommend being behind it when it's going to the wall.
That is Bane Steel Merkava, and I'm just gonna be making these videos as like, you know, tip videos with several tips that I've acquired over the years of playing this game. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions or any corrections, make a comment. If you enjoyed, don't be afraid to show your appreciation by leaving a like and subscribing! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to beg for likes and subs, just like every other YouTuber. I am Steel Merkava, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.